it's instantly empowering to be in control of a tank and like having the authenticity of a real tank. It's ear to ear grin. The only thing that's more exciting than World of Tanks, I think, is probably riding around in real tanks. World of Tanks has a special, easy to learn, hard to master kind of design holy grail that, that is kind of magic. This is a really large scale multiplayer game. It's 30 players per match. They're very quick, rapid battles. Even if you die early in the battle, you can go back to your garage and play another tank. There's five different classes of tanks, seven different nations. There's over 350 tanks. Lots of content, lots of different ways to play. And playing with other people against other people, it's never the same thing twice. I really like to work my way up the different tank lines and upgrade a tank fully and get camouflage and pick out all the equipment and consumables that can go on it. If I see in the data that one tank is more popular, I try to go play that tank and really see what draws the players to that tank over other tanks. The growth has been phenomenal and it's because we're supporting such a dynamic game and because we're an online game, because we're always on and because we're always adding content and it's really, really exciting. It's very accessible to anybody to pick up and play. And then tanks have a great history around the world. We jump through many hoops to make sure that the tanks are as authentic as possible, historically accurate from working off of original plans to making sure we're talking with our in-house historians. And I love playing with them, I love seeing them every day. They're huge, they're massive, they're loud. A lot of our maps are very historically informed. Pacific Island is a good example, where we looked at some of the islands where there really were tank battles in the Pacific. We do our best to try to make sure that plants in the region are correct. You know, is the ambient correct in terms of sound and backgrounds? Between the Minsk team and here in North America, we've built a pretty amazing multi-channel recording library of tanks. We've done recordings of ballistics, explosions, guns, everything that you can imagine that you can get from a war scenario, we've like gone out and captured it and, and integrated it into the game. One of the nice improvements that we really get excited about is when we get to do the variants of the map. A lot of the players are accustomed to a standard map, how it's always played, but when we can come through and start creating a rain variant or a snow variant or a night variant, and even now the war variants, the layout may be the same, but as players are going through and playing it, it's a whole new experience for them. If you look at our forums and if you listen to our players, they're so passionate about every aspect of the game. And that really inspires us to listen to the public and try to keep the game experience alive and afresh. I saw one of my friends playing World of Tanks, asked him what it was all about. It was a free download and uh, I didn't, haven't put it down since. It's very easy to pick up, uh, very easy to play. Uh, it's very straightforward, but you play more and you get better at the game. What excites me is really the skill involved and the, the research, the strategy. Anybody can kind of pick up the game and play, but as you progress further, the strategy becomes a little more imperative. From developers to community managers to players, you just get the vibe that everyone is so enthusiastic about this game right now and the game's future. It's such a vibrant community. The feedback from the community is great. They play the game and they'll take the time out to let us know if they really like something. Also, on the other hand, if something is broken or if something is wrong or if something is not historically accurate, the community definitely steps up and they let us know that. It's just a two-way street, and we try to be as transparent as possible. It's one of the best things about working on World of Tanks, honestly, is the interaction with the community. Every rev that we put out to the public, there's always usually something new, and that's continually happening, and I think it'll continually keep happening forever. It's always really, really cool to see what players are doing with the tanks and what they could do in the levels, which some of the stuff we may not have even thought of. It's a game that really challenges you, and that kind of challenge is what really excites gamers and explains the success that it's had. The great thing about a games as a service, which World of Tanks is, is it's ongoing every day. It's evolving for players to be able to write in suggestions like, you know what we think would make the game great is if you added this, or we'd love to be able to track this stat. And you're like, hey, I can do that. And the game, it just continues to evolve. We're never at a shortage of what to do next or how to improve the game next. There's just so many big things that we, we have on the table right now and that we're going to be pushing into the game in the future.